I'm Jason Hoffman. My goal is to help you have the confidence to just press go live. One of the most challenging things about taking a live sporting events stream live is audio. There's so much noise coming from everywhere and the ability to isolate it, pick out just the noise you're trying to broadcast, it can be a real challenge. And trying to get good quality audio into a live stream, especially a sporting event stream, sometimes includes a significant investment. It's costly to get good audio into a live stream. There are many good options. DJI has a fantastic offering for a two-piece wireless transmission system. It's 2.4 gigahertz wireless band, so it's great range, 300 plus feet of range. The Rode Wireless Go is kind of the standard for the same kind of setup. We have the Hollyland Lark 150 as a go-to for a lot of folks because it comes with its own battery-powered charging case. Two transmitter, one receiver setup, mute functions everywhere. You have the ability for individual gain control via knob, not via software or button. So there are some really good options, but those options are over $200, sometimes approaching $300 if you're going to add that kind of audio into your system. We also have the options that include the non 2.4 gigahertz wireless transmission. Their range is just over 100 feet. Some have tested it to be very much farther than 100 feet, but their range is publicized at 100 or so feet and they plug into your device, either via USB-C or via Lightning, and you can go ahead and transmit audio to transmitter one receiver system. You have less individual control, and you can't necessarily add a lapel mic if you want to, like you can on all those others, but it's another good option, and those are much less expensive, but there's less features to them. Well, somewhere in the middle ground, Small Rig has come out with their W60 for Vela, model of two transmitter, one receiver, wireless microphone. Now this system does come in a handy little case. On the bottom of that case, we're going to find a USB-A cord that is attached to, built into the box, so we can plug it into any USB-A charging port that we need, and it's going to allow us to charge this, these units up uh, all at the same time. This case, though, is not a battery case. It doesn't charge on its own. It has to be plugged in. It gives you another option. There's a USB-C port on the other end of this case, and so we can charge it via USB-C if we want to. That may be the faster option for you if you have a fast charging USB-C plug. And it charges each of these individually as well. All three pieces have a USB-C port that allows us to charge each one on its own. They promote an eight-hour battery life really impressive as far as being able to use this long term. It takes about an hour and a half to recharge them from used up all the way back to completely fresh. So the turnaround time is not too bad. The small rig price point comes in right now at $140 on Amazon. There's an affiliate link in the description of this video if you'd like to check it out. Some of the key points that they promote with their system is going to be a 300 plus foot wireless line of sight range on the 2.4 gigahertz wireless band. They're talking about a low latency and I know latency is an issue for a lot of folks who are who are streaming with wireless microphones. The the Rode Wireless Go 2 is going to give you a six to eight millisecond. The Hololand Lark is also in that same range, six to eight millisecond. This one is going to be as they promote it, less than 15 minutes. So that could be as many as twice as much delay. It could be pretty close to the same. They won't give a specific number. They just say less than 15 millisecond delay on the latency. When you're streaming through uh, the Mevo app, when you're streaming through the Mevo software, that's not going to be much of an issue for you. Uh, because it's so good at syncing everything up, you're going to find that, uh, that that's not going to be a deal breaker. The features it gives you is going to be the individual gain control, the knobs that we have on top of, of the receiver unit. We're going to have the ability to monitor audio with a headphone jack there. We also have the regular 3.5 millimeter jack that will then connect to the back of your camera. The power button is individual for each one. There's also a low cut feature. Their low cut button is supposed to cut 
frequency, low frequency noise below the 200 hertz, such as the friction noise or current noise or even outdoor background noise is designed to be cut by using that low cut button. It's right there on the transmitter of each device. It does have the ability to plug a lapel mic into it if you want to bring a lapel mic up to your chest as well. But one of the great features that I think, and, and it's probably an afterthought or, or just one of those things that they threw in, is it actually is a magnet mount. Let me show you. So included in the package is going to be this little logo labeled small rig magnet and the clip on the back and the clip on the back of the microphone is also magnetized so i could stick this pull this down a little i could stick this just inside my the fold of my shirt here and there it is all you see is the button you don't see the the big clips sticking out. You don't see the microphone. There's just this little button here that is the cue that now I have a microphone on my person and that's where the audio is coming from. Now, it's not where the audio is coming from yet. We haven't tested this yet. We'll compare it to my, my recording mic here. Uh, this again is my normal place and it is usually a little bit echoey. This microphone usually handles it okay. But we'll see how this one sounds compared at the end. But to me, that's a great little feature if I'm trying to present, if I'm trying to keep myself looking a certain way. Now, I have a hoodie on with, over a shirt. It's not that I'm trying that today, but it's a good thing to have something so inconspicuous as, I mean, if I turn, let's see, if I turn this way, you can see it, but straight on or anything from this side, that's going to, oh, excuse me, from anything from this side, that's going to just show this is what I've got on me. I like the size. I like the ability to hide this as a microphone source. Obviously, there's a mute button on each transmitter, so you can cut your own sound. You can mute it from the receiver as well by tapping the gain control button as well. It ships with a pair of these little wind muffs, and so that's going to be handy for outside. It also ships with a pair of three and a half millimeter TRS to TRRS and TRS to TRS, coil cables, and your USB-A to USB-C cable if you want. Don't forget the other USB-A cable that charges it is built in. It's attached permanently to the case. For $139 right now on Amazon, who knows what the price will be soon, for that kind of price point, it it's in the same range of quality and features as your Rode Wireless Go, as your DJI offering, as your Hollyland Lark but it's in the price range that makes it much more attractive somewhere in between and it may be the perfect fit for your live stream. So now I do have audio running through the small rig W60 wireless microphone and you can tell the difference in sound between just a few seconds ago when I was running through my recording mic and this wireless microphone. It is tucked in behind my shirt. I'm using the magnet mount feature there. It's coming into its own microphone, no lapel attached. So what do you think? How does this one stack up to other microphones that you've heard in a setting that's gonna get your live stream great audio all the way through?